Stage 3 Cape Epic, 97 Ks, 2100 meters of climbing, transfer day to Wellington. I did a very fast start this morning. We've now just entered the mountains, a couple of little spikes coming up. You can see everyone going up the climb there. Massive fire here in December, took out almost the whole mountain range. So in 2013 on my first epic, it is a little time there. I can clearly remember walking up that first epic. I can't believe it. I weighed 116 kilograms. It's crazy how something like the epic or just mountain biking can change the way you live. Our first official river crossing. Like a bike section, this is unrideable, unless you need no. Okay, let's ride. Yeah. So we're yeah. here. Not so high. Good. No. Beautiful riding out here. Nice walking. Good day. Not good for carbon shoes. Amazing scenery out here. I can't believe how badly this mountain burns. It's super washed out and loose from the fire. And then obviously the big rain we had definitely changed this terrain. Super tough section this. A little bit of a down and then straight back up. Oh, and there's the next time over there. Oh my word. That time was f***ing brutal. Just reached the top and now we're heading down. Time to recover. I've actually got a slight headache today. I'm not sure if it's from concentrating on rocks or having my head shaken around so much by rocks. But everywhere is just rocks. Next time we ride the gum guards, eh? Yeah, we're gum guards. Next epic. 23 k's in, 550 meters of climbing done. That was a super rough climb. It's crazy how the fires and the rain have changed that whole wagon trail up there. Now we got a little bit of smooth kilometers hopefully on this lower district road. A little bit of wind cooling us down. Luckily we have that. You're about to get sad. It's a nice <laughs> Long Cape Epic bike trains. This pass has been long and slow. A bit of a headwind pulling us down. That was really tough. Just made it over that pass. That was pretty tough. Also straight into the headwind, but also helped cool you down. Now we've got a long descent back to the bottom of the valley, and then we're gonna traverse the bottom of the mountain all the way to Ventsworth. Insane views out here this morning. Fire can be so devastating, but at the same time, it makes such an incredible landscape. You think you'd have time to recover on a downhill like this, but you actually don't. It's so much work and concentration. That's a big rock that fell down there from the rain. We just came off the pass, water point one, it's a few k's up ahead of us. Uh, yeah, we're gonna refuel properly there. Bain's Cliff Pass coming up next. Very sandy and loose out here. Seen a few guys all already this morning. 100 meters to water point one. Then we got a climb. And then we got the turn of the tough section up called Blueberry Hill, 35 k's in. <laughs> so cool. Heading down to the Toyota Cup section. That was one f***ing nasty little climb now. To get over Blueberry Hill. Toyota Tough section. From here it's downhill to Bainscliff Pass. Go, Toyota 
up the sand. Very, very hill. Hardly rocks, super loose. So we are a month ago. And it was very green out here. It's crazy how quickly the landscapes change. A little bit of fatigue setting in again. You need to be careful, concentrate, take your time. There we are, we're at the end of the third of top section. Nice day at the beach. I'd like the ocean more section. <laughs> Always some punishment before the fun stuff, eh? Uh. Just got onto the Bansfield Pass Road. 10, 12k climb, I think, from there. Yeah, gotta keep your cool rhythm, yeah. Keep the pedals turning, get to the top. 50k's in, 47k's to go, 12 or so k's of tar road at Bansfield, and then a couple of nasty sharp climbs coming in the Valpine Pass series. Bensclough stream never disappoints. Oh, oh my word, that's amazing. Well then, guys. Woo! Hey. Oh, perfect idea. Okay, I guess he's a uh, old faithful, eh? Yeah. Great order. Yes, yes, yes. Well done, guys. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, that's nice. Oh man, it's uh, glorious. It's hot, eh? <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Why do we do this? <laughs> <laughs> that stream. Is always a lifesaver coming up Bainscliff. So refreshing. Very hot up here. Looks like lots of guys are hurting. Yeah, uh, halfway up. We made it to the top. That was hot. Now halfway down to Valfon Pass. And if you look at the profile, one, two, three, four spikes left till the finish. Bruce will climb after. Let's see what okay. That's this. That's how steep it is. Huh? That's how steep it is. That was a bitch of a climb after the water station. Oh my. Typical epic style. Throwing in a climb like that absolutely breaks you into pieces. Giving a fellow rider a hopping hand. Yeah. On our way back down, we just spent about five minutes helping a guy with a snake bite. Don't think he actually knew how to fix all of that type of stuff, so we helped him out. Single track, half and pass. He's right behind us. That was Geordie's partner who just helped. Obviously, riding back up to find him. My bike's gonna raffle like. Now, toolbox is empty. This is a bit of a warm up for what's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow, we got the Alp de Wares climb and then the cliffhanger, and that's going to be very tricky. I rode it a month ago, super difficult, very tight switchbacks. You can get a lot of riders by surprise. Shells out and off and bust, so much fun. Low single track through the forest, lots of nice switchback turns. On an epic downhill, just means one thing. There's a surprise waiting for us at the bottom of this, guaranteed. A little bit of a water point three coming up. Another tough day in the saddle. Water point three. Starting to finally be here. 15 k's to go. Last little off cock climb, as we say in Occupines. Oh, amazes me how the epic route guys find these things. Enrico, we'll have a chat later. Thank you. Oh man, where the f are they taking us? I thought the top of that climb would be done, but we've ridden this in reverse before, and I know what's coming on the other side of this, and it's not ready. We're riding the epic for the first time. Be warned, there's always a surprise around the next corner. Always a surprise. Oh man. This is so unnecessary. Holy crap. I say. Okay. Just want to point a few things out. Bits are there. 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 
I'm so glad that time's over, eh? Holy crap balls. The Mount of Litter is absolutely disgusting again. Here we go down your home. This is normally the up climb. Now we're going down and we came up the down. It was ridiculous. Very hot all of a sudden. Hopefully no more little surprises. I can't. Changed my shoes and socks today. Feet have been way better than yesterday. Stage three done in the bag. Tomorrow we have the queen stage. Time to go and rest, recover, get ready for a long day tomorrow. Thanks for watching.